now approaching the international place, parking garage. Let's see if we can get in here. It's $26 early bird, but we're not the early bird, we're the late bird. These lanes actually kind of look narrow, but they're actually really wide. Oh. Wait, they actually checked ID in this place, so I told you this place is super high security. So we got a ticket, and we gotta go left. This ramp, this ramp is awesome. Look at this thing. It's like a helix, but it's so weird. It's not even like a round helix. It's such a strange design. It's like, I love this garage already. So we're gonna try to go down as far as we can underground. And it looks like that area is closed off. Can we go around here? Go down this side parking. Maybe we can go down to another floor. Of course, I'm not driving in what's the real parking spot like up here. It's such a weird garage. It's like amazing here. And it's, I would say it is short span, but it's like really random. Let's go down here. I wonder if it's down on this side. I don't know if this goes any deeper. Or maybe it does. Look at this thing. This is the coolest garage, I think. This is totally going on my top 10, for sure. Look at this thing. It goes even deeper than this, wow. Like, I don't even know what floor I'm on right now. All four. But it's because the ramps aren't, they don't have a ramp well on this garage, which means the ramps aren't stacked. It's kind of, yes, it is doing sort of a single helix going down, unless this is a, unless it's a double thread helix. Real, very possibly could be a double thread helix. So we're gonna go all the way down. So that looks like the end of it. So we're just gonna head down here. We want additional parking. I have no idea where I am right now, but I think these are where the openings are. Additional parking, let's go down here. Look at this crazy thing. This is wild. Oh, okay, so it is a single. Oh, wait. So it is a double helix? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Is this where we just were? I have no idea. Uh, am I driving in circles or am I actually getting somewhere? Well, check that. This ramp. This is awesome. But let's see where we should park. I should actually try to find a parking spot. There's like almost no one in this garage, too, which is really nice. these ramps go up though, so is it just a single helix with a, uh, two separate ramps that are staggered? Yeah, because the other up ramp's over there. So I think. Oh yeah, I think it's really just a gigantic single helix, but still it's really nice for a single helix. But it's actually not, technically it's like a side by side. I love this little helix thing up here. does that one way thing on the other side. Now we're at the exit already. Dang. Wait, wait. And we're out of 
the garage. This garage is only seven dollars if you have a coupon. The little thing's gonna beep. Oh, look at they actually closed the garage. Wow. Garage full. That's complete bull because the garage is pretty much empty. That's kind of funny that it says it's full. Now we're in out in downtown Boston. What's nice about this garage too is that it's easy to get 93. If I want to go 93 south, I can just stay straight. If I want to do 93 north, I can go left. I just realized you can't turn left here, but let's turn left to the next one. But yeah, you go on the website, you print out a coupon, and nights and weekends are only seven dollars. That is cheaper than Post Office Square. In this garage is awesome. They have very high security, but it's cheap and it's nice. And the high security is good. And that's it. 